RSV is a virus that we typically see during the winter, but this season it is coming on early and it's coming on strong. The health department shared updated numbers today. It shows a big spike in RSV hospitalizations two weeks ago and then a slight drop last week. The state says that's still higher than normal for this time of year. So what is RSV? Good question. Heather Brown asked doctors and families. Well, so let's start with How are you feeling? I am finally starting to feel better. Last week felt like a month for Susan Blaze. Fevers and really bad headache. Her two-year-old son. He was tired, crabby. And her five-year-old daughter. She then developed a really bad cough. There was wheezing with her. A too. lot of wheezing, yeah. Full disclosure here, Susan is my sister-in-law. My kids missed you all and kept asking when we could see you. And I said, oh, not for yeah, a while. No. <laughs> no, that was, oh, thank you. So it was rough in your house for a while. It was. She missed a full week of school. I didn't even know adults could get RSV. RSV is a virus that keeps giving for, for really our whole life. As a pediatrician, Dr. Krishnan Subramanian is very familiar with RSV. Well, it's a respiratory syncytia virus. It affects your lungs, it affects your respiratory system, and it's descriptive of the way that the virus attacks the lungs. It starts to meld cells together, and that's something we call a syncytia. Is there a test for RSV? There is. We'll swab your nose. Is there a vaccine? There is no vaccine. It generally starts in the head, like a cold. She complained of ear pain. But for some, it can affect the lungs. And when that makes that turn, that's when we begin to worry a little bit more and begin to take more precautions. Especially in babies and older adults, groups with weaker lungs. Also, lots of little ones haven't seen this virus before, like three and a half week old Hayden, who spent four days in the hospital. I was in panic mode. It was just, it was terrifying. If you start to see fast breathing, difficulty breathing, see their ribs when they're breathing, we need to see your child. There's no one medication for RSV. Alternating Tylenol and Ibuprofen. But if you end up in the hospital with it. We will um, push air into the lungs. We make sure that a child's hydrated. And after a difficult week or two, <laughs> most everyone is back in action. Well, I'm glad to see, bud, you're feeling better, huh? Heather Brown, <laughs> WCCO, <laughs> 4 News. <laughs> Cute. Glad he's feeling better. Yeah, definitely. Our expert told Heather that if you have RSV this season, your chances of getting it again this year are slim. However, immunity does wane and you can get it more than once. If you have a good question for Heather, just email her through WCCO.com slash link.